Good evening. This has been a week the B.C. Liberals would rather forget. In the last few days, they found out a lawyer investigating election fraud involving a cabinet minister, Kashid, was also a donor to their political party. Then it was revealed this is not the first time top lawyers have opened their wallets for the ruling party. The opposition says it's just another example of why it's time for big changes to the way political parties get their cash. A News Legislature reporter, Shachi Curl, has our story. I don't know. At the heart of the Kashid scandal is the issue of how election campaigns are paid for. People and companies donate to political parties, and those donations pay for things like signs, brochures, campaign buses, and more importantly, those expensive TV ads. Kids in British Columbia are not. This week, donations to the BC Liberal Party, the party in power, have led to chaos at the legislature and in the courts. First, the independent lawyer whose job it was to investigate alleged campaign fraud during Kashid's 2009 election race revealed he and his firm gave money to the Liberals specifically to Heed's campaign. Then, we learned at least six more lawyers tasked with investigating cases connected to the government had also donated to the Liberals. We have Among them, Bill Berardino, the special prosecutor in charge of the B.C. Rail political corruption trial. He donated to the Liberals more than two years after he was hired for the job and at a time when he was investigating the party itself. There's also George McIntosh, the lawyer at the helm of B.C.'s polygamy case against Winston Blackmore in Bountiful. It's leading the NDP to renew its call for campaign finance reform. The idea? Tighten up the rules around donations so that conflicts of interest, either real or perceived, no longer exist. We have advocated for a very long time that there be an elimination of corporate and union donations to political parties. Vote with your heart. The idea is not unheard of. Britain, which just completed national elections, has strict campaign financing rules and TV ads are free. But BC's Attorney General says there are already enough rules in place to keep the system clean here. It has generally worked reasonably well. It did not work here. Besides, says DeYoung, tightening up the rules runs the risk of stomping on the rights of individuals. The notion that people, uh, businesses, would uh, be able to make donations to uh, the party and, and campaign of their choice is one that lies at the, the heart of our uh, our system. We don't think it's appropriate that people who are going to be appointed as special prosecutors uh, in fact have what appear to be political ties by way of donation to the governing party. In Victoria, Shachi Curl, A News.